You know what I'm saying? I mean, I have had people walk past me and say, get a job, bum. And I said, wait a minute, I'm not a bum. I'm a human being. And and it's, and it's hard. But uh, my name is Ronald Davis. I've been on the street for about a year and a half now. Which is life, you know, which is, 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 is rough. And uh, I mean, I didn't slept in Lower Wacker. I didn't slept on the bridges. I didn't slept in the in little cardboard boxes and stuff, you know, just surviving. Especially in the wintertime, it was the hardest time. And like, uh, I go to uh, fill out applications for a job and stuff. They look at me, you know, I'm not looking presentable. And then they, well, we'll call you, leave a number. But how can I leave a number when I don't have a phone? So I, it's just a struggle out there, you know. I just, you know, from day to day, people, uh, I come out here and panhandle with my cup. Some days I don't even have enough to get it wrong, so I just sleep on the sleep street. But I depend on the people that's coming off the train because most of them I give them respect. You know, most of them like me. They come out and give me clothes and food and stuff like this here so I can survive. And whenever I'm not fortunate enough to get the room, I just sleep in the street wherever I can. It's really humiliating to be shaking a cup 24 hours a day and people just look at you like you're some kind of little bomb, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I have had people to walk past me and say, get a job, bomb. And I said, wait a minute, I'm not a bomb, I'm a human being. And And it's, and it's hard. But uh, I, after the end of the day, when, when people go home and everybody get on the metro train, and then my, and then I just feel so bad that I can't be going home. You know, I mean, I'm sorry. But uh, it's really emotional because I'm really trying to get myself together and get off this tree. You know, I, mean, I don't care what it's doing. If I can get a job and through this humility, you know, I mean, you just lose all your humility when you're shaking a cook begging. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, you know, I mean, you know, you can look at a person and tell if they give you respect or not. You know what I mean? A lot of people look at you like you're just a, a piece of crumb. You know, I had one guy walk past me and talk about me so bad, and then I just looked at him. I said, God bless you, sir. He walked past and went, went down the street, come right back. He said, you know what, man, I had a bad day. He said, I'm sorry for even calling you that. He said, because I know you're a human being. He said, would you accept my part? I said, part of the septic. He went in his pocket and gave me 30 bucks and said, go get to the room and get you something to eat. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, no matter what people think about me, I know I'm a human first. And just cause I'm down on my luck, don't give nobody no excuse to call me no bomb. Because I'm not.